new developments in a story that we've been following for months. Right now, you're seeing video of what Como Park in St. Paul looks like at night. Yeah, it's really dark. You can hardly see anything because most of the street lights have been hit by copper wire theft. Wires are taken and sold for cash, leaving the lamps useless. Public Works told the city council today they will spend $300,000 to try and fix the problem. And Jay Coles explains tonight that this crime is spreading all over Ramsey County and now lawmakers are taking notice. St. Paul's Como Park is dark, much darker than it should be. Thieves hit more than a dozen streetlights for their copper wiring, creating pitch black nights. Because there's no lights anymore. Leaving guys like Paul Humbert to get creative. We've uh, put headlamps on now to walk around in the evening just for a little bit extra security around the lake. And it doesn't have to be dark to notice. At the base of the street lamps, you'll see the carnage left behind. The lights rendered useless. According to St. Paul City data, it's in the thousands. I think it's unsafe. I think it's ridiculous that they're out here doing this. Um, it's dangerous. It's definitely a bit darker without these lights, so not as safe as I would if if, if the lights were working. And the copper wire thieves are spreading throughout Ramsey County. We had about 17 in one call. We had probably another, you know, 15, 20 in another call. Along Rice Creek Parkway and Parkview Drive in Shoreview, Ramsey County Sheriff's Deputy Alicia Olette says 50 lights were hit in January. Hundreds more across the county at a steep cost. In the January, it was roughly about $230,000. So it's a significant amount, but that was just on the low end. There's probably a couple hundred thousand dollars more. When catalytic converters were being swiped off cars in record numbers, state lawmakers increased criminal penalties and implemented tighter rules to track stolen catalytic converters. Deputy Olette says they're now seeing some of those thieves move into stealing copper from streetlights. Then those guys who just want that extra buck, what's the next easiest crime? And that's kind of what we're seeing. And you can see one of those lights here in St. Paul. It is still out. State lawmakers are working on a bill that would increase penalties for copper thieves and possibly require a license for people who sell copper. Now, that legislation, I'm told, could look a lot like the new catalytic converter laws, and they say that bill could be introduced as early as next week. Reporting live in St. Paul, Jay Coles, 5 Eyewitness News.